Oh hey, welcome back. This episode we are going to continue through the game. We are going to level six. Which just happens to be... Oh, I think it's a decent level. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's... Actually, it's it's pretty good, actually. This is actually one of my favorite levels in the game. Um, I might not sound like it once I enter. But literally, it's one of my favorite levels. Just like design-wise. So if you do not have ether, you cannot access level six. I think it's ether. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ether, um, I remember you get this on Death Mountain. Because Quake you get from the fish and Bombos you actually get in the desert. So level six, Misery Mire, also known as my super favorite level. Actually, it's not my favorite. Turtle Rock is actually a pretty sweet level. Next one. Um, I don't know. I just like this level because like, it's like dark. I like the darker levels. I like the darker games. Like Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game. And I like it just because it's like a dark setting. Like this, this setting is creepy a little. Uh, just make sure you don't get hit by those. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to flip around here. What we need to do is we need to find the big chest, the big key. Which I know is pretty, it sounds quite obvious, but it, it's just the way of life. So we're going to come up here, blow these guys up, come to the right. Right here's a key, but there's also another key in this room. So what you want is the magical cape. Pop this, step on this chest, open this chest, and we want to head back to the left, I believe. Alright, so there's actually, yeah, we want to head back to the left. Uh, these things are like, they lay bombs down and you get bombs from them. And actually, no, we actually wanted to go through that top room now that I think about it. Which so requires us to kill bomb slugs. God damn it. There you go. Alright, um... We can just avoid this guy. So we have two keys. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm messing up. I told you, this is... Like, once the later levels come, this game gets, like, a legit... Legitly harder. And it's just... No, we want to cut down to the left. Let's take us into this room. Actually, no, we want to head up. There's actually a warp that leads to this room that I didn't even know existed. Well, I knew it existed, I just didn't know it was... I don't know. But there's just a huge bridge that crosses here, so we just want to cross this big bridge. Which take us to this room, which is also a... I don't know, this is a clever room. I mean, it's not legitimately clever, but it means pretty sweet. So from this, hop this up. Pretty sure we get a key. Yes, we do. There's a lot of keys in this dungeon. There are a lot of keys in this dungeon. So what we can do is we can just... No, we can't. Uh, we have to open this door. Open this door. Uh, magic cape. Magic cape is going to be a big item in this dungeon, by the way. Oh, shit, shit, shit. To the left. No, we want to head down. Just to this room. Head to the right. Alright, leads us back to this room. Alright, sweet. Um, yes. Actually... Before we do that, we want to head onto this. We want to find this because this is also a key. Now it's the button, which gives us a key. So I, I was close enough. I mean, I knew there's a key involved with that button, and I just don't need this going up here. All right, so now we want to head to the left. Um, I don't think we need to go right, but we do need to go down. Shit. No keys in this room, but uh, actually, shit. Maybe we do need to go right or left. Well, there's a key in there anyway, so I mean, it's not all bad. I believe we can just head straight down. Yes, we can. We don't really need to bother with that room because I think up is just. I literally don't even know what up is. 
What we want to do is we want to kill these guys because these guys are no fun zone. No fun zone. Um, okay, okay, and... Alright, so that's pretty much all we need to do. What we need to do is we need to light these torches, so... If you don't have enough magic, you probably should invest in some magic. What we can do here is we can just take the fire rod and just... Dash across here. And oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, sweet. Alright, so what this does is this expands the room so we can just fall down this hole. Open this chest, which is just happens to be the big key. And we're gonna have left, which there should be a uh, warp panel here. There is a warp panel. Which leads us to this room, but we can't we don't want to go that way yet. What the fuck? So we wanna head down to the right. Back into this room. Alright. Just remember where that room is, because that room is going to be a, sort of important. But we don't really need to go through that room. It's just helpful. It's just helpful. Alright, so what we want to do is... I want this anti-fairy, because... I will waste magic, because the item that we get does require magic, so will be pretty useful. What we want to do is we want to hook shot there, and then just dash across here. And we get the red cane, the rain of Samaria. If you use this strategically, this mysterious cane will be a tremendous help. Well, I will not admit to you what it does just yet. Because that's a mystery. That's a mystery. I can't tell you what it does yet. If I told you what it does, it wouldn't be a mystery anymore. Now, would it? Alright, so now the blue... Blue blocks are still up, so I mean... What the fuck? No! Bad... Bad, bad blue ball. Bad blue ball. Bad boy! Alright, so what we want to do is we want to head up this again. Head to the right. Fuck out of my way. And we can head back down to the left. If you go through that room that we were warped into, what it actually will do is it will just... It... There's a warp panel in there, and it'll warp you right there, so... You can either go through the room that was... You were taken to after you got the cane, or not the cane, the big key. Or you could have just gone the way I went. So right here is a large bottle of magic. You might need that. Because this gets pretty, pretty... Well, I wouldn't say... It, it's not difficult, but it gets pretty tough. There is, is there is a... Thing right there. That you will notice will not stay on, unless you keep a block on there, and that's what the red cane is for, it makes blocks. So it's one of those cool things. Um, there's nothing in this room, so let's just head to the left. Oh, this room is awesome. Uh, I pretty much cannot avoid taking a hit there, unless you use the magic, or not the, uh... Oh, what the hell am I trying to think of? Cape, the cape, but I really don't want to waste magic to use the cape because magic is a key asset, and I did not want to do that. God damn it! I freaking knew there was some stupid thing like that. Ah, uh, don't hit that. Trust me, don't hit that. I knew, I knew you didn't need to hit that, but I don't know why I did. So what, instead, what you want to do is you want to bomb this. Um, just avoid these anti fairies. Professional. Uh, yeah, there's a huge room full of rupees up here, but again, rupees are pretty much irrelevant at this point in the game. If you've already gotten all the hard pieces, they possibly camped up to this point. Um, shit, shit, shit. Alright, first, before you do anything, come behind here. That. Um, fuck on my way! Sneak through here, and up here. And literally, we are almost done with this dungeon. That's how easy this dungeon is. So there's nothing left. What you want? This boss is way too easy. It, if you know how to do it, this boss is just way too easy. So basically what you do is you just put the cape on, you come up and you just start slashing eyeballs. 
you can tell, and you won't even get hurt by lightning, you won't get hurt by anything, you just keep slashing until the, all the eyeballs are gone. So this eyeball, see, like literally, now what you do is you take the arrows, and you just frickin' rapid fire. Again, th this boss is way too fucking easy for this game. It's, it is ridiculous how easy this boss is. So again, I misery mired about 10 minutes, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad at all. I don't even think I used a fairy. Oh, by the way, fairy types in Pokemon X and Y, overpowered. It, they're, it's just ridiculously overpowered. It pisses me off. They, you, they pretty much put it in there just to cancel out dragon types, and they just overpower the fuck out of them. Especially Xerneas. Xerneas is way too powerful. With its base stats of like one. I like think its base stats are like 140, like 131 special attack and attack. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. Sorry, I'm not reading this one. I'm just sick of reading these things. Uh, another Pokemon that is fairy type that's overpowered is Arceus. Like, what the fuck? They made Arceus a fairy type? The most powerful Pokemon in the game is a fucking fairy type. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a fairy. Pl that they, you put a fairy plate on it, or if you just 